there is a myth of no time. When people tell you, I don't have time, listen to me. It is a myth. The myth of no time. You will not have time for everything, but you will make time for what is important. Listen to me. When people tell you, I don't have time, you know what they are saying? I'm sorry, it is not important to me. I'm sorry, it is not my priority. Don't ever say you have no time. When people invite you to a Bible study, to a prayer meeting, and you said, I don't have time, don't say you don't have time. Just say, it is not my priority. It is not important to me. But do not deceive yourself by saying, I have no time. It's a myth. You will make time for what is important. I have a friend who lives nearby here years ago. He developed cancer. I visited him. All of his priorities changed. Before, his wife would invite him to CCF, no time. His wife would invite him to Bible study, no time. He has time for business, time for nightclubs, time with his friends, time for drinking, but no time for Bible study. Guess what happened? He told my wife when I went to visit him. Apparently, I talked to him for a while and I kind of stepped out and he whispered to my wife, he talked to my wife. He said, if God will allow me to have more years to come, I am going to focus on evangelizing, helping people come to Christ. I don't want to go to heaven alone. That's what he said. And would you believe it? God gave him a few more years. And he began bringing his friends. He began bringing his drinking buddies. Why? Priorities will make you have time. So don't tell me, I don't have time for Bible study. I don't have time for quiet time. No, no, no. Just say, it is not important to me. Are we clear?